the first objective was simply to make sure that Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb and its local allies could not threaten the capital of the country, Bamako, and that their advance was halted. So the first thing that France and the troops on the ground have tried to do is to stop them. Now the question is whether they will take that one step further and try to roll back Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb. It's worth reminding ourselves of the context for this operation. In March last year, Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb and its allies took over the northern two-thirds of Mali. They managed to gain control over 300,000 square miles of territory. That's an area about three times the size of Britain, complete with military bases, arms dumps, airports, training facilities, and a trans-Saharan smuggling route, which allows them to make money. So they've taken over a very valuable bit of real estate, uh, and the French and African troops are not prepared to tolerate that for any longer. There are a number of risks. Uh, first of all, Al-Qaeda and its allies could try and attack in another area. Uh, and just today, we've had reports that they've opened a new front by striking a town that's 250 miles north of Bamako. The second risk is that they could infiltrate the capital and carry out attacks within it. Uh, and the third risk, and perhaps the one that weighs most heavily on the mind of Pre President Hollande, is the fact that they hold about seven French hostages. Uh, so you would, you would imagine that the present operation perhaps increases the risk that they're facing.